Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Tonight I am joined by Lachlan. Hello, I am Lachlan. Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello, and you have skipped the person both sides of me and I am now thrown off. <laughs> yes, keeping you on your toes. Next up, ooh, who's it going to be? I don't get Seb. that saying. Hi, I'm Josh. How do you on your toes? How do it hurt? You're bounced up. Yeah. You're really good. Can you guys like, have you seen those guys that can walk with their Not toes? the time. Um, <laughs> the ballerinas. <laughs> and finally ballerinas. we have Josh. <laughs> Yes, I am Josh. I'm not doing that weird skit you're doing, Seb. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? We'll start with Lachlan. Hopefully it's a short conversation. Uh, Just be sure. Immediately after saying that, it is not. Short conversation. Oh yeah, we do have Udi on that, so uh, feel free to jump onto the channel and check that out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Sebi. I've got a new deck that's an old deck, but got new cards in it. That's Eldritch. Woo! He's, He's playing a trap deck. His deck's yes. pretty cool. Trap Eldritch. I copied it off a guy who did not with it. <laughs> and except I don't own the deers, so that's a thing. You know who doesn't? Oh wait, no, you sold them, didn't you? And I'm doing. You know who owns well the deers? Brag doesn't sell things. Braggadocious over there. <laughs> Can I buy back my deers? <laughs> oh yeah, he bought them off you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, how much are the deers now? Like hundred bucks. Yeah. Speaking of your finances, <laughs> how much how money are you going to tax on? This year? What's uh, your tax file number? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if ours match. Your mother's um, this, uh, Ben, how was your week? Tax number, please. Uh, it was fine. I played Dragon Maid again. It went fine. Could have gone better. There was key points in key games where I should have did things that would have resulted in me winning, but I didn't. You're too nice. Fun. I'm too nice a person. Yes. At locals, I am too too nice a person. I need to be. Got to be mean. So you got to be more like. Just got to do it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Visual say, gags. <laughs> take back that link, someone. I'm killing you now. <laughs> to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm from the flats. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. No, no one's ever called those flats the flats. <laughs> no. As the person who's from there, <laughs> never. <laughs> no one's ever said yeah, that. Yeah, flats. Exactly. I swear you just said the fats. <laughs> the fats in it? The fats. Nah, that's an arrow look. <laughs> and Ooh. also all of Sydney. <laughs> and also Queensland. Josh. Anywhere that isn't Wong Wong. That's in Queensland. Where? Wong Wong. Wong Wong. Ah, I played salad. And no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And then uh, I've been playing Code Talker Extra Link recently because of the extravaganza people. There's a lot of Code Talkers like topping and winning events in Europe. Did you top locals? Did I top locals? I X won because no. I was not. I was I was very retarded against Sky Striker. You could have ended it. He said you could have ended the sentence. Means none. No, I, I could have just activated Gazelle and not died. But I'm like. Funny. I guess I know. Then you've definitely had a stroke because, like, that's the only thing you do. It's literally just. To the point where you no, no, I rage sent something. Title one of my monsters, so my opponent was put under mine. He had Zero Boris with like everything he's saying. Barely a sentence. No, 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 no. Well, you see, I started playing and. So, you know when cats like sit at a window and they're looking at a bird and they're just like. So, long story short, I raged, I destroyed my cards. What do you mean? Night speak! Man, speak! Listen! Just say, rage, I destroyed one of my cards. Yeah, I raged my cards away, put them under mine. (laughs) Put them under mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you play mine. Me. No, he was playing mine. Yeah, he had okay. zero Boris. That's why I got rid of my cards. Yeah. He but caused me to use mine and I died. Yes. I yeah. got killed. Yeah, wasn't it like really? <laughs> wasn't it like seven seven k attack or something? It had oh, nine thousand attack. I was dead. <laughs> he had even upside goblin. I was dead, Seb. That's what you get for playing desires, mate. True. He desired twice. <laughs> what do you was... desire? Joshua Glenn. To kill myself after that shit. Woo! 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention Bragg is. Um, and now I have to keep it in because right, that was funny. Almost ten o streak on Dueling Book of Code Talkers. Yeah, baby. Ten o. That's yeah. nothing. Are I get ten o with stuff? No, like a structure deck from two thousand eight. So it's even worse. You can't even afford that. All right. Um, yeah, and quickly, in my out. week in Yu-Gi-Oh. On Sunday, I uh, was quite uh, hungover. Uh, and lost in the last round. That's because really like everyone else at Locals was hung up. Not Josh. Because <laughs> he had a drink. <laughs> Period. Yeah. And he was the one That's that I lost then. to. Uh, and then tonight, I went X2. Just, like, game one, I saw, like, some ter- No, yeah. Round one, sorry. Against Andrew, I saw some god-awful hands. It was, like, set uh, droplet pass, and that was the best I could do. Um, one of the other two... going back to his ways of opening really well. Yeah, which is very annoying. Yep. Yeah. Especially because he's running a 60 card deck that should not work at all. No. So didn't you beat him? Yep. <laughs> Game three, I found out that you can't chain to, I mean, an attack declaration, unless something's summoned, you can't chain after that. So, so what, like if it's so, chain link one, attack declaration. Yeah, so attack declaration, then chains happen. When yeah, the chains like, resolve, you can't then start a new chain. If it's, like, it's not Mirror count. Force, yeah. uh, Borrowed Savage, and you have a second battle. Mirror Force, you'd have to chain the second Mirror Force to the Borrowed Savage negate. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. Because okay. it's still with... Like it's, it's just... It, it needs to be... But isn't it a when attack? Attack declaration. Uh, no, but the last thing to actually happen in the yeah. game state to have resolved oh, okay. is so an attack, attack being declared. Okay. But I had... It's also a whole phase. <laughs> we went to through... Gate of trinket tribute. Yeah. And then we went through this big talk about that, and then I realized I had an ice yeah, dragon's prism had anyway. Ice, so ice so dragon set the whole time. Because so it, it, it was in time, and I didn't want to get damage done against me. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, I can just summon back your thunder dragon. Yeah, I resolved our Dragon Prison against Andrew twice as well. Uh, never for any benefit other than please don't kill me this <laughs> yeah. time. Um, Banish yeah. both. Okay, effects. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look, it was it was not fun. Um, and then yeah, um, game four against Josh is just a sacky piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, did Josh win locals? No. 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 Oh. I, I literally Sky just strike. said I lost to Need Sky Striker. I oh yeah, speaking yeah. of, I don't listen when you speak. Dylan won his first tournament at Wollongong. Yeah, yay! So happy. Oh, he doesn't listen to the podcast. Months. Oh yeah, doesn't know who we are. Well, he should know. But anyway, he's that dude we stomped when we went down to Nara, right? Uh, sorry, yeah. I stomped. No. <laughs> no, I beat him as well. I, I think banned from Nara or is that Jesse and Logan? It's just Jesse, I think. Yeah, Logan did his Christian thing of like apologize and go, "Oh please, can I come back to your store?" God, I wish yeah. someone would. Like well, he's going to come back and then the he whole city of like, didn't go on that <laughs> night. Huh? Nah, he doesn't know who you are. All you got to say is, I'm from Wollongong, and you're banned. <laughs> okay, uh, so that covers the week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, <laughs> so then who are our we've got... Who are our rivals? Who's Wollongong's rival? Sydney. Is it, is it MacArthur? Yeah, I think it's Central. Central? Probably, central? Yeah, Central. Yeah. Not MacArthur? That's Central. What about... I um... mean, proximity-wise, it's definitely, like, MacArthur area, but... Then play play actually play it's not really yeah. rivals. That feels like almost like a like for a while it felt more like a, like a sister locals in a way. Like that was yeah, sort until of like it stopped. Hi, sister yeah. Man. Probably should be Miranda. <laughs> nah, fuck Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in Miranda, I'm sorry, not for assaulting Miranda, but that you live there. <laughs> 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 Just make the trip come out locals instead. It's better. <laughs> oh. All right, so we have a new card coming for Synchro Storm or Wind Duelist, whatever the hell pack it is. Wind um, Rotor, Wind Rotor. Effectively, yeah. Uh, so it's called Liralu's Bird Call. I uh, can only activate one of this Bird card call. per turn. Uh, you can take one Liralu's monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one Liralu's monster with a different name from your hand. Which That's is really good. Really good. So like it search like from or you know foolish I needed more and support. special from hand. Fair enough. <laughs> They're getting a lot. I, yeah. I prefer the name okay. Tribe Bird. I'd like to. Uh huh. Um, the one thing I will sort of um, like go back and edit, I guess, to an extent, is when we're talking about the Lyra this stuff, we sort of skipped over what they did. Their new rank one is actually very good. Mm, very yeah. good. Is it only good in pure though? Yeah, but is it better than princess? No, it's it uh, any. Well, you can still play it in. Yeah, you can still play it in. Is it a generic? Yeah, it's generic. 
just, it just attach any once. number of times a turn, not once a turn, bounce special summon. Yeah, and not once per turn combo. Target? Yes. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Magispect of Cards. <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck does that mean? I've never played Magic Spectre in my life. No, you play Dynamis. Dynamis are Pendulum, so are Magic Spectres. You play Magic Spectre. Magic Spectre. What can I throw in? <laughs> yeah, Magic Spectres are Magic Dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, this is my podcast. I'm not editing a lot, but. <laughs> You have to actually want to edit it to do that. 13 minutes. I oh, yeah, just... this is the non editing podcast, so you're going back on your word. Fuck. <laughs> you know, I can edit in booze on the audio ones. Shoosh. I want you to put. You want to fucking die? Like <laughs> <laughs> um, in other card news, um, this is a card that we knew was coming out. However, uh, we did have a leak. Uh, of sorts. So. What the fuck is that? That's just a photo of my fucking. Yeah, I was looking in the chat that I have with Brad because he sent me something specific. You fuck. Um, <laughs> it was a photo of Lachlan's penis. No, it was far bigger. Almost yeah, it three was inches. Pussy. <laughs> um, yes. So there was a video. I don't know. I don't. I didn't ever see the original video. Neil I only saw the picture of it last time. Leaking. It could be um, cards fake. from. It could be, but I doubt it. Because it's been picked up by pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I've done no research into what it at all, so I can I'm just assume it's real. Yeah. So, the video display that Scrap Raptor, one of the most highly anticipated cards in Lightning Overdrive, is being printed in common. Good. Let everyone have it. Which is kind of bonkers. Misc goes to work. Um, and to they discuss can't this get more, half the fucking scrap cards anyway, because they're so old and don't have printings. Uh, speaking of old and having old printings, brag. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> yeah, you're like 30. It's not like 30. He is 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even including the nine months you're in the womb. You're then like you're 31. nine months older as well. I think I stayed for you. Three. All the six months he was in East Germany. <laughs> <laughs> for 43 years he lived in Argentina afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that joke, Josh? Yeah. What's the joke about that, Hitler? Oh, that, oh, he actually oh got man, it. we're not getting. I can't actually. Dude. I can't. Cry that <laughs> no before. algorithm for us. Monetization bad. Um, yeah, you're right in that. This is gonna be so old, hard to pick up the old cards. Um, hard. it being common, <laughs> surely that's concerning for the Dino section of cards. Oh, they're shitting themselves right now. Like Fossil Dig may well get limited and or banned. Oh, is it a dinosaur? What? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's a level oh. four dinosaur tuna. Bruh, and it's... It's not a tuna. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? It's not a tuna. It's not a tuna. <laughs> and, yeah, like, so, and it's searchable yeah, by its own yeah, scrap. So scrap yard and fossil what? dig. <laughs> Both are scrappy. Yeah, there's six cards that search it. Yeah, fossil dig and uh, it's all scrap yard. Scrap yard. Yeah, the two it, cards Brad yeah, just said before you then had to think it. about it. Yep. Can I be looking at cards like, what do I have to print to get this banned? Yeah. Like, I want to hit fossil dig, but it's also anything in that archetype, but not mix. fossil dig. Well, if it's ban common, Obi Raptor. <laughs> if it's common, will they hit it right away? No, no, no. They've done, like they do this for common cards all the time. Um. Well, that used to be the rule of thumb recently. is like the lower the rarity, the more well, they have to hit it. They haven't given us a good low rarity card in a little while. It has been a oh, hot minute before. We got I feel like Lost oh, was yeah, the, the last hey. really, really good low rarity oh, card. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was, only, drops? It was yeah. only the other day that we got Monkey Board. <laughs> that was like two weeks ago. <laughs> we had Pankertrops since Lost Wind. Yes. However, Lost Wind's better than how Pankertops. old is that? However, Pankertrops got a rarity bump. And then it got <laughs> <laughs> And then it got hit. Yeah. Lost so a kind of ugly card. Scrap the Raptor ban no. in the gold series no. at the end of the year. Yeah, after three <laughs> printer. It um, won't be banned, it'll probably be limited. Remember, babe, well, don't don't pick up your three now because they'll get reprinted gold rarely. Yeah. Did is it like a one card combo? You get yes, yep. yes. Yeah. And is it okay, only... so it targets okay. itself, destroys itself to allow another normal summon of a scrap. When it's yeah. destroyed, it searches a scrap. Okay. And is it so? Okay. Searches recycle. Yeah. Oh, have and we talked only... about searches anything? Shut up. Like, <laughs> it searches shark. And it only um, really works with Orcus. 
No, it works. no. It, you can it actually works use in it in dinos. Everything. Dinos. It's an it SDK. Works. Oh, okay. Which, speaking of new rose cards, yeah. you do like. Just don't try to fucking stuff. segue no, us. Roll, you don't... Another baby, baby summon raptor from deck. Raptor pop itself. Do right. scrap combo. Right. Yeah. And um. Yeah, and you can get a misc if they try. <laughs> yeah, if you happen to have four dinos Sick. in your grave, you can do that. Yeah. No, I'm saying you can misc to prevent people oh. ashing it, or whatever. Yeah. Isn't there some combo it does with Gerasu or some shit or something? Probably. I mean, it can do. Almost yeah. certainly. Um, but it's I'm looking to just run in pure scrap, so here I am. <laughs> like I don't dickhead. even know how good it is in pure scraps. Sure, it's good. No, it's still good. I mean, well, good, but it's not as good scrap... as it is in any other day. Well, it just means that well, rather than on your first turn making scrap dragon, you make bottles out of it. Scrap OTK is a thing. <laughs> he would still make scrap dragon. No, I, I never, even in Scrap <laughs> OTK, I didn't make Boral. Like, I, I made Boral. No, you fuck with <laughs> No, and here's the thing. Scrap like, like the sc- like, I, like Scrap combo was always live, and we just didn't realise that you could have turned it into, you know, infinite negates. Well, I didn't realise. I just was like, how do I make this kill? <laughs> uh, kill something. Yes, Scrap Dragon, kill. Bragg's, Bragg's mind is always at, like, kill, 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 kill. <laughs> Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Um, but yeah, scrap wrapped it a one in eh, six months. Yep. Maybe three. So the only time will tell if this is A, real, and B, a problem. Yeah. True. I wonder if it will be a starlight as well. Mm, certainly. No. So if it's a common, a common is a starlight. Scraps get, scraps <laughs> so, get high rarities. Yeah. They made scrap breaker a secret and not this. Or they might just get an OTS ulti. Isn't Scrap yeah, Recycler only a super? Yes. Scrap was. It was, it was a common at first. Recycle. Yeah, it was common at first in, 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 in the machine. Was it, it wasn't was even it meant to be a scrap card. You yeah. know what? Scrap cards should all all only be in common. <laughs> to fit the theme. <laughs> well, it's like, well, it's as soon as Scrap Dragon started selling, they just started making it the new high rarity stuff. So like Scrap Mind Reader and Scrap Breaker were both secret res and Scrap Orthros. And it's just like, these cards are bad still. <laughs> they should make a rarity lower than common and make them that. It's, it's called, called gold. Rare. Yeah. No, it's called plat. I like How dare you? Not, plat- <laughs> not platinum rare, sorry. I mean, um, gold secret. Starlight. No, oh, I think he means to say <laughs> Duel of Saga, but he's struggling. Nah, Duel of Saga is lower rarity than gold. Prismatic secret. Fucking taking a picture of my asshole and putting it on a shit. proxy. <laughs> it's called Starter Deck Cell and Angry. It's <gasps> the lowest rarity. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say gacho? Here comes the laugh track again. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was somehow racist. <laughs> <laughs> to all those <laughs> laugh track people. Do you know they're all dead? All the laugh tracks are from the 20s. And yeah. They're yeah. all dead. Yep. And do you know that frogs like going ribbit is only to the ones in California? What? <laughs> frogs, are, frogs only go ribbit in California. Everywhere else, they do something else. Oh, yeah, they're crow. Yeah, they're crow. They're crow. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know what? I've never said ribbit for a frog. I always say croak. You know, that's actually the sound of the raw game, right? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if so, get it, frogs. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I was going to say which gender, but I don't think Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, so moving on to some Can podcast questions. Can female frogs cause... orgasm? Yes. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. How do you know? Oh, this is great. You are. <laughs> I bow down to All that. All right, continue, Jake. <laughs> so, uh, because there's very little card uh, stuff out at the moment, probably by next week there will be, because um, Lightning yeah. Overdrive reveals start getting done by the YouTubers. There's not a lot to discuss right now. But but apparently, Seb has something to I say. Um, yeah, like, come on now. So, uh, like, distributors in... Um, America are saying there's going to be, you know what they did with Ash Blossom? Like the feet? The feet binder, the feet mat, the feet... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, going to be an IP Mascarena version of that. Yes, I did oh. see that. No. It's yeah, because the, IP Mascarena looks under 12. Oh, no. And so they're like, no, 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 we no. can sell, we can sell. No, no, it's the sell, Captain sell. the bike art. <laughs> what? And also, it um, still doesn't look like a crone woman. Yeah. No, no, the new one looks 
far more of age than the last one did. Japanese <laughs> 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 people be like, she's 13 now. That she, she has a consent. She has a driver's license. She has to be of age. We don't know that she has a driver's license. She she driving illegally. Yeah, true. Um, but it also is coming out when <laughs> um, <laughs> it's coming out. Oh, actually, around gold series. Yeah. Wait, why is she a cat? <laughs> she's cat woman. Does she have that in the original art? No, not at all. Seb stating fact here. She's a cosplayer. <laughs> He's breaking news to you guys. He's um, too it's busy coming out the same time as when we got our last maximum gold. Awkward. And because that's an alt art, it may be Oh, a yeah, so it might be the same as Appalooza, and then we'll get yeah. um, IP in the gold art. Give us the bear! I think Merch! A, no! <laughs> I just want the It's the bow! Well. I want yeah, the bear Yeah, OCG got a red eyes alt art, so yeah, feet. quite possibly in that as well. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Bear naked? That wasn't funny. Alright. This podcast have... to be a fucking disaster to listen to sometimes. You could have said that was barely Look, funny. And do you know what the problem is? There's this five people at the table. There's six people six. at the table. Right, well, it's five people at the table. table, one person he under the table. The table. He's Three people touching. having one also, discussion. He's, he's, he's said all that he wants to say. At this point, he could probably remain silent. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be real, I don't know why you still will do so. There's a point where we need to cut to break. We, we, do need to we don't want to get like the that. knee cracks when I stand up on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> You're Hitler. <laughs> so. Oh, oh okay. Secret Hitler, Secret Hitler. I mean, you did come from Argentina. <laughs> So, moving on to some podcast questions that have been asked uh, by some of our fans in the Discord. Um, starting with uh, AY-78. I think he's one of the newer members. Uh, card <laughs> archetype ideas, question mark? What? Archetype? Card, card archetype. Card archetype. I want... so... Oh, sorry. Continue. No, no. Okay. The, I, I would build an archetype of only extra deck monsters that can't be summoned. And... Oh. Speak and... Shut no, no, no. Up. I have an idea, right? It's... What's your idea? No, there's, there's... Okay, wait, no. It's not only extra deck. It's main deck as well, but <sighs> they can't summon the extra deck monsters. They just send them to grave for effects. So it's like a deck of extra foolish burial. Yeah, essentially, but they it's can basically... only send in archetype cards and, like, they get little bonuses or some shit or effects when they go. But so the cards on field themselves are actually quite... Thing. And they would probably have the Plunder Patrol like equip thing as well. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Isn't that basically just magicians? One idea that I, yeah, it, it is kind of magicians. Like that. magicians. Magistus. You know the Link One I Artemis. Fucking... There's a whole archetype around. <laughs> I don't listen to that shit. <laughs> um. So he's just pitched an archetype that already exists. All right, what's your archetype <laughs> then, mate? Uh let's say a battle. <laughs> you see that already exists. That's good. War rock, dragon. Oh, sorry, war cock. There we go. They have a surgical skill drain for, uh, for m- both main phases. Monarchs. <coughs> yeah. Is that surgical? Yeah. Monarchs. The monarch storm forth. No, the monarchs erupt. Oh, it that's is. the one. Yeah. I must say, from this angle where like the lower half of his face is like cut off, it looks like he has one of those like really stereotypical Fu Manchu mustaches. <laughs> well, there we go. Make monarchs too. <laughs> See, he already said an archetype that already exists. Well, this is the thing. Mine only they... kind of does it. They still summon their extra deck monsters. I would like an archetype of monsters that summon themselves from the deck whenever you feel like a specific condition on board, where like there's a monster equipped with like another monster. However, the effect to... activates from the monster in deck, so it doesn't actually trigger. So it's red eyes, darkness metal, uh, red eyes, black metal dragon. And dark eight. Yes. That was and that the, all charmers. Yeah, yeah, the charmers do that. <laughs> yeah. Except those aren't conditions. I was going to say a charmer so they... deck that isn't garbage. You just pitched an archetype that already exists, dickhead. Yes. <laughs> Except it's already... Oh, wait, he already made one. <laughs> this man has two custom decks. Well, what was, um, the, what was well, your, like, koala one or whatever? Yeah, I, I want the koala one. Koala support when? Well, I, I guess, I guess tri- Tribrigade, yeah. That's good. Big koala. What did your koalas do? Um, so, basically there's little level fours, and one of them specials another from deck, and the other one I think adds one, and then you can overlay for fat koala, which... <laughs> did, I think it It's detaches, literally called fat koala, it's just by the way. It's effect, they're like all specially sum each other out. And then the spell and traps, the field spell, the first time any card is summoned for that turn, it becomes a beast. And then they have a trap Boosh. or quick play spell 
that take takes control of beasts up to the number that they control. So it's all like, like it's all like zombie world and then no, it isn't. mind control sort yeah. of thing. Parasite, parasite. So, so theoretically, oh, when this set releases, do we get the errata to change it to Uluru Sunrise? No. Which one? No. They made that mistake and then not changing it. We want the errata to be changed from Ayers Rock Sunrise to Uluru Sunrise. Because Ayers Rock Sunrise is uh, incredibly. We want the errata. We want an errata in the set that this is coming out in. Oh, my set. Yeah, can we yeah, have yeah. Can we have the errata? I'll allow it. Thank you. Like a I'll allow it. Won't we'll do anything to make it though. I like that you basically told Josh to like shut his face for a good yes. thirty seconds I wanted to, to make raise that the joke. Next, I want it to be the next voice in here. Yeah. Your joke doesn't land. It's not Never a joke. Done. I was just going to say, and he also made even Gally in a deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. And, and that again. that did the thing that you wanted to do, where it just equips things from the extra deck. Yeah, I was going to say that, but it equips weapons from the extra deck, which was kind of cool. It's which some, it, it, it's my yeah. bit's uh, more it's like like grave. X Y Z monsters. Yeah, it's mine's a control. bit more like. It was Plunder Patrol Gay. before Plunder Patrol came out, so... They ripped off your idea! Yeah, I know, they looked up Evangelion Konami, cards. we suing you! <laughs> Please don't... And then the Evangelion people are just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> if you're listening to this, you can find our channel at nolantcg.com. <laughs> Not dot com. <laughs> I just want to point, um, like, there could be this time when Jerome's listening to this podcast and like, Fuck, they're on to me. <laughs> and he's like, in his office, like, shoving all of his... <laughs> <laughs> have you cited them recently actually no they're just on dueling book though no but oh. your evangelion deck actually exists them. yeah you bought it yeah you made it have yeah. you seen it recently but no that's not my jerome's sure. broken jerome into your house <laughs> jerome's um, broken so into your house and yeah, smelled uh, your feet no no me first oh, okay. say something. yeah nah, we okay. wish for you to keep remaining silent <laughs> um so the archetype that i had in my head from years and years ago was like the spells and traps are called like monolith and as you have a monolith on it summons one from deck one they're summoned from deck they're one type and attribute and they do like further things to search other monolith cards but then they go to grave like at the end of the turn and then they bring themselves back in the opponent's turn as like zombies and they have effects that affect the opponent that's cool it's kind of like metaphys no not like at all like metaphys leave and then come back no not at all it's so like, like mech knights no, not at all. I'm hearing him pitching an art type that's the same! <laughs> yeah, he already exists! <laughs> Your turn, Josh. Yeah, but it goes, Josh, we're not saying words. <laughs> it's all like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all like that pumpkin card from. Oh, yeah, pumpkin pudding cess or whatever. Pudding cess, yeah. That like, pumpkin shut princess up. that like, brought them back in the anime and made them zombies. I, I didn't watch the fucking the pumpkin man. king. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the pumpkin Imagine king you get to be that. king of something. It's fucking so pumpkin. Pumpkin just increases I'd rather its be, own attack. It I'd doesn't rather actually be do king it. of like. No, but in, in the, the anime, he like, puts the tentacles into the other zombies and he goes. Yeah, in the yeah. anime, he could attack the ring around the castle <laughs> of Dark Illusions and make them all fucking crush under the castle. He uses saying. them like a sock puppet. That's how that works. Tentacle penetration. <laughs> what? Fuck he sake. just wants anime with penetration from tentacles. No, 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 no. Let you just find this anime. It exists. Play mutants. That's got tentacles. Now, what's your deck? That's idea? not the fucking question. Uh, uh, Josh thinking. does not have an original idea uh, in his uh, brain. Uh, uh, Cyber Link a... deck. You guys know the Lego movie? <laughs> Wait, you know the Lego movie how the dude's one fucking original thought is a double decker couch. Yeah. <laughs> That's Josh. <laughs> I'm not Emma. <laughs> He knows the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> bro. B bro. Josh, anyway, what's your, deck what's your original oh, salad idea? It's You've not original. the longest to think out what? of all of us. It's combining different deck ideas, like... Oh, You're gonna get right, roasted, just... son. <laughs> Go ahead. A, uh, a deck of monsters that turn them in, themselves in driver. He's oh, no, so oh, no, we're ah! Oh, no, this is kind <laughs> of sad. <laughs> He's like drones listening. <laughs> that either one material XYZs or link ones that can that send themselves from the field to the graveyard to summon cards from the deck, in which turn themselves into the boss monster of the deck, which would be an XYZ. Then a base on the zodiac. Yeah, this sounds like zodiac. <laughs> this the idea already zodiac. exists. Zodiac. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're based on the horoscope. It's slightly different. <laughs> zodiac sky striker. <laughs> <laughs> So before we, before we move, I did have one more idea for my deck. I'd like my deck to have this trap card, 
Yeah. Right, here we fucking go. It's just tidying. <laughs> <laughs> it like, banishes material from graveyard to summon a monster from the extra deck that then just stops your opponent from special summoning. That's an extra fusion. No, that's schism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the fuck with the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm even brag. Yeah. was fucking fuck listening. window. That was a long. That way was episode around. thirteen of the fuck window podcast. Brag. Ah. We're here with brag. Bro. Just say ah. fuck window. No. Say it later. Moving on. Say it. Um, Whisper to my ear. <laughs> so, Whisper next question is from Froman. Uh, last podcast, Lachlan brought up wanting a hard reset for things to be more similar to Cosmo in power level. What do you all think uh, would have been... Would uh, Hang on. What do you guys think would have... Would have to be there. <laughs> specific cards or decks in general You've been to get us to, to that point. Josh all do, you know podcast? How, do you know how fucking tired I am? Let's move. I think we are way too far beyond that now. So he says he wants nah. it. Nah, Lachlan's an idiot. He wants a reset to Cosmo format. Is that what you're saying? That is no, no, no. Yeah. Like a reset Cosmo to power Cosmo level. power level. So like pre Pepe. Uh, that is. And too when many I say years. he, it's not from man. Yeah, it's him. It's, he wanted that. As soon as Lynx came out, it, we could never go back. No, we, we were well past that point. Yeah. Ben, everything Lynx back to Decode Talker. Lynx was just the final talker. push in, just saying, nah, we're there. I'll say... I think there are... Like, I th- just get rid of generic Lynx. Make everything a hard once by turn. Just make everything yeah. in archetype. Like, like, examples of good Lynx are like fucking... Uh, what How is about... it? Meow Meow? Meow meow. Whatever. Yeah, Stop cuts. printing. It, the uh, card literally does nothing. Mm-hmm. It just facilitates the entire. Deck. Um, the fucking uh, Abyss Actor Link, the fucking DDD Link, the, they they're good for the archetype and utterly fucking useless and everything else. The DDD make that a bit too restrictive. I've got a better idea. Played. Stop printing uh, archetypes that you know support older cards, which have oh. these not once per turn restrictions. That's not what the question is. The question is what needs to be banned. What needs to be banned to reset the game market? Older cards. Access. I simply think so. All borrow loads. I think it's too much. Um, the only problem with the new cards is they're supporting the, old, the older cards, which are... Okay, the but that's cards. the whole distinction of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that old archetypes do come back. Otherwise, it'd just be set rotations. Just give a set rotation. For three? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say... Mm. <laughs> What would you say, Sam? Make all when effects if... What are you saying? Is it a general thing? No, make no, no, all no. if effects As when. Slow this shit right down. What has to be banned? I want to actually make my giga plan. No, just, what has oh, to be banned, banned to reset it? You don't have to spend specific cards, but name like it's a thing. It's simply uh, too much. Yeah, there's, it's yeah. Too, there's too, too many cards. We're too far gone. That rotation... This no. is what I'm. S- this is this is the way. reason I said it though. Is you, we just keep moving away further and further into places where like decks that interact with other decks can't really exist anymore. Unbanned because metaverse. they're bad. What? What? Decks that like do any sort of like their own sort of interaction, bar a few ex- like a few exceptions, can't really exist anymore. Need the gates. Always you just need there. fucking as many negates as you can get on board. Yeah, negates and are way they're, they're all generic. I don't agree with okay. generic negates. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. <sighs> Is a ban all generic negation? Any card that ends just, on generic negation? Just, like, instead of making 50 million new archetypes every fucking set that are all trash, just put work into the archetypes you've already got. Well, to give them their own fucking, point. like, playstyle, everything's just a fucking morph at this point. That's my problem. To be fair, we've probably for the last, what, year, year and a bit, we've been stuck in this weird point where we've not gotten anything that's ridiculously, absurdly yeah, nothing, broken in terms of an archetype. Nothing like Spiral or anything. Like, yeah, even Sp- Spiral was that. like shit until that's one card came along yeah. and it broke it. But then I'm talking like. Seen there's not the been a Zodiac of late. Yeah. yeah, there hasn't been something that's been like so absurdly busted by itself as an archetype. Yeah. It's been like this. This archetype's good because it makes all this other stuff. Yeah, because it makes has, Halcon, makes Aurora. Yeah, then. nothing's been like absurdly Rips broken or... because it its archetype itself is like, I did this. Yeah, it's like I do this, and I'm just aiming on all these generic things. I mean, I I have a bit of a theory that Pendulum may 
make a comeback. See, the the issue is you've just said pendulum. You haven't named a deck. You've named an entire <laughs> mechanic of the fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how Triff says it, and Triff's pendulum. fucking stupid. He's an excellent deck builder. Sure. And player. Okay. But he's just his he's personality. He's fucking retarded though. He just puts a whole bunch of pendulum cards to do the same thing over and over again, which just has negates a way to out negates or a way to push for damage. Yeah, it's like either one card ways to negates or like one card ways to damage. Like he if you watch him play, he rarely pendulum summons. Pendulums are part of the problem. No. The pendulum no. deck. <clears throat> no. No. I'd yeah, I say banning negates would be good. Like just in general. <laughs> Ban, ban every ban card that negates. Every card, every card, card that negates. Yeah. Just all right. But you'd also have to bring down like access code talker and borrow it. No. Like uh, those are just game enders. Really. Sort. Yeah, that. Yeah. But you can just to stop games from being ended. Wait. Just compulsive no, at any point an because there's no talker. fucking negate. Like just there's compulsive. no negates. <laughs> sure. I think you just have to bring everything down a level while still keeping it consistent but uh, that i think the ceiling is what needs to come down i like the consistency of the modern game but the ceiling is too high i uh, like not the skill ceiling because i think the skill ceiling's literally the same as it's ever been but the power ceiling is way higher at what point in Yu-Gi-Oh did we hit where we're like monsters have too much attack like games are ending on like two three monsters on a board at what point did we hit that Borrow sword. Borrow yeah. sword? Yeah. yeah. Borrow load. Borrow sword, access code yeah, topple is maybe. just like the peak. Borrow load never really did damage though. It was mostly to take. Yeah, cards. it was borrow sword and access you can code attack with that. Yeah, borrow right. sword was borrow sword was bad because it skill. ended games. Access code is really bad. It just blows the board. Because yeah. it destroys everything and you can't I don't get that fucking you card. Whose idea was that card? It's Jerome, what are you good. fucking doing? Just don't blame Jerome, that's an anime card. Yeah, so they, they they, they've with... nerfed anime cards before. Look at the entire DDD archetype. It's... <laughs> they should no, have made it like the... cyberspace restricted. Well, that's the thing. For the most part, they all of it. all of um, that anime, whatever it was called, um, it was building Arc- to that point. Arc V? No, what's it called? The fucking brains. Brain. Brains. Enter the brain. All of the cards <laughs> within brains are near identical to what they were printed the as. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, well, they have now. <laughs> yeah, they've changed it now. I am and right on a technicality. In the anime, it, they just didn't have the arrows for Firewall to be fucking insane like it is. Oh, okay. Uh, Dragon Rules could push the damage of three monsters. Oh, yeah. But that's like a rare exception. Yeah. That's what made them good. Yeah. Like, Cosmo technically had the attack rate with his farm girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which oh, was... Oh, it did. Okay. It did. <laughs> having oh. that and anything else on the board was game... I mean, so Blue Eyes just, one just attacked Dark Destroyer and then twice, usually. Hmm? Blue Eyes attacked twice and then you were dead. <laughs> That's under 6,000. Blue Eyes is shit. Blue Eyes attacked for 6k, you're dead. Fall back with big in a white. Alright. Frags on the floor making jokes that no one got. None of us lost. Stay on the floor, peasant. Oh, hey, 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 I'm the one pitching the way Blue Eyes actually attacks the game, I'm like, you go, <laughs> 6k, huh? I'm talking Mid-day about the X-Y-Z. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, uh, let's get through the Too far gone. Yes. So, next question is, uh, what is your favourite floodgate and why? This is from <laughs> Ominous Gengar. A very contentious <laughs> question. <laughs> Necro Valley. Who was, um, Ominous Gengar? It's Hayden. Hayden, Hayden, Hayden. yeah. He's Hi, fucking plat one in Rocket League with one hand. That's mental. That's really it is good. kind of That's obvious, mental. Yeah, that's really, really good. Makes um, you look really shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more of a defense for that. Well, I mean, I'm like eight rank sets above him, but it's still really good. All right. What's your favorite? I couldn't do it with one hand. Skills hand? Skills hand? Yeah. Mine's... Um, Macro Cosmos because both the effect. Macro Cosmos is like my second as well. Yeah, yeah. I love it the art nice nice art actually. Oh Ben what doesn't ben? like skill. One of you name a fucking floodgate. Ben, this Ben, I already have mine. Dragon Catcher. He I, says tidying. I, I just want to be classy. No, no, <laughs> he'll say tidying and I will lose my shit. Tidying's not a. All right, Josh. What's your? I was going to give my answer. I'm right. twirling my moustache for the sight gag. Oh. Royal oppression. 
Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Uh, that, yes. Yeah, it's still pretty faint, though, because it's, it's yeah. still exciting. <laughs> That's what makes it It's rivalry, because I can still uh, axe oh, yeah. go to <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> What's yours? Uh, something curse. What? Yeah, obscure as shit. <laughs> so, every time that a player special what? summons, they have to banish a card from their hand. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The original what Infernoble the Rip 5 used... <laughs> Is it... What's it? A trap? Uh, it's a spell. It's a spell. It's pretty cool. Pay 500 at the end of the turn. The problem in Infernoble is... Or destroy it. Like... You can choose! You can turn it off! <laughs> oh, you can? Yeah. It drew Imagine like 10 you times. You could turn Imperial You had time. to hide draw it. So that fuck Josh. I reckon we all just start playing it. <laughs> Can we talk about what our <laughs> least favorite uh, floodgate is? Yeah, we sure. might as well. Winder. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fuck Winder podcast, episode 14. We're here with... <laughs> Frank? Wait, why are we... Ha- Wait, why is episode 14 the shout out? And that's been episode 14 of the Fuck Winder podcast. <laughs> What's your least favorite? All right, on to Seb. <laughs> the fuck, cunt? Mm. I like Vanity's emptiness more than I like Winder. This <laughs> is great. It yeah, has it's a good, because decent... you can just fuck it off. I activate MST on your pendulum monster. What? It didn't go to the graveyard. <laughs> Except it did. For I Macrocosmos, can... it went to the graveyard. I don't get it. It's... <laughs> I get Why did Benny's not leave? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't check by game mechanic. I have one, but I can't still what is think it? of a name. I can't think of one. What does it do? Like what is it? <laughs> <laughs> my guy, my guy. Okay, what does it do? Oh. Wait, you like Winder? Alright, we'll get back to Bragg. Give me a hand. What did you say? I, I, at the moment, I can't think of one. I know there probably is one that I'll get pissed and annoyed at because it's like, I don't know, extra deck card or something. Not the problem Winder. is you play half I of them. play like yes. every Floodgate, so I don't think I have a least favourite. You're like, oh, oh, I got it. Um, zombie World. I hate Zombie yeah, World. Yeah, Zombie World's <laughs> fucked. It's fucking searchable and it just fucks up every deck except zombies. It's like, go die. <laughs> 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 you just well, play I mean, zombies. That is the motif, isn't it? Just he is playing yeah. zombies. He's playing fucking. Trap yeah, maybe I'll put in an old lich. Exactly. I didn't laugh, but it was really. Just gonna funny. copy Marvel. It was really. Yeah. yeah. Funny in a big ben, your water, least yeah. favorite. If you shaved day. your beard. You would have. My least favorite. Job. Could you? <laughs> he could. <laughs> I, I come out here about to come up with something that's really really cool and like a deep cut, and then Josh just goes. I'm going to yell the answer. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I didn't get a chance Jokes to say it bad. because I had well thought out my response just for Josh to scream it, proving that it was a bad response. Yeah, but the people at the bad. table didn't hear it, it as it much was, as the people on the podcast It was did. Dragon Capture Josh. Oh. Uh, okay. uh-huh. uh-huh. Josh? You know what it is. There can only be Stop one. Dragon. Fuck that card. I totally uh, said My that. least favourite is Imperial minutes. Order. <laughs> yeah, Imperial Order... I Him saying Imperial it. Order is what brought to mind why I hate, uh, like the floodgates I hate. I drew six cards today. Imperial two Order should not exist. Different in a row. The card should red the card is fucked. This game is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, Protector of the Sanctuary, mainly because you can't summon it in defense mode. What? What? Oh, what? that's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine oh, this. What? Like, why can't you summon it in defense? His combo summoned it in defense. Yes. Yeah. Does it say it? No, you just can't. Oh, you just can't. no, yeah, I yeah, reborn yeah. it in defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, was what, it like... Watch... Uh, watch it. Ring That's a fucking... Oh, yeah, we have yeah, that up. Did half. you post it? Yeah, ages uh, ago. Watch my hand rip deck from... Did he even work? Corona. Anymore? Yeah, it still works. It's just shit. <laughs> 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 and, like, it rarely shit. goes off. It still works, <laughs> except it doesn't. And it can't do anything going second. It's a three card combo, and none of those three cards were searchable. No, <laughs> you have to draw them. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, this is just fucking Beck Knight Handloop. It's just like, oh, I have to see these three specific cards in my but deck. You played like every draw engine, so it's like, yeah. You could probably play you with. Know, it's okay. You yeah, could probably Exodia play plays with every um, single draw engine. Numeron now. Ooh. Because I've been playing Numeron, um, what's it called? FDK with the Splash Mate. Med- What's it called? Blasting the Ruins and the one that does 200 for each. The fuck What's the... What are you talking about? The what? <laughs> He's lost no, his mind. It's, it's like magical... Same, same. magical What's explosion? Magical explosion. The next one FDK. is uh, from Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Edwin. Um, in the light of last Friday's video, uh, which is uh, Ben and Lachlan's uh, unlimited budget versus $100 budget video, <laughs> um, <laughs> what deck would you build if you had $100 budget? And vice versa, what would you build if you had an unlimited budget? 
I've built all the guys to play at $100. Um, yeah. So that's one revelation that Lachlan's come to, is that he Have you read the comments guys. on my video for that? No. One I person haven't. was like, why didn't he build Dragon Thief with a $100 budget? Wait. Oh, I actually ah, did see that I bought comment. two I chambers. Yeah. <laughs> or you you showed it. me it or something. Yeah. And I was like... Do they have it's know how much Striker Dragon Kind of for chambers. And he was like, oh, no, it's good without chamber. Sorry. It, you can, it is not. Anyone can go back to the podcast there and really listen in to what Josh just said. Striker Dragon. I said it. So expensive. You realise it's been reprinted, yeah? Yes, for a $100 deck, though. $2. Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon's like 2 bucks. We could have bought the team Striker Dragon is the problem. <laughs> And if I had ten thousand dollars, I would strike it. Right. Or a million dollars. What? How much money did he say? A thousand. But unlimited. he said unlimited. Unlimited. One. I would buy a deck of all the cards and sell them all. <laughs> <laughs> you only have sixty though. And plus uh, sorry. Sixty. I would just to. It would recap. be a deck full of three. It isn't two dollars. Uh, you're correct. Every expansion of retro pack card. And um, Starlight. Expensive. Yeah, Starlight. Mm. It, it would be, mm. be a sixty card pile with a fifteen card extra deck. And a 15-card side deck that was all just a pile of expensive cards, which I then sold. I'd do the same, but then I wouldn't sell it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just built Max Superman Rarity for Noble. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, with $100 budget, my first thought would have been Kaiju Gradle, probably. Sheesh. Yeah. Because the card I was gonna build your Senjo. I was that was right, but I couldn't because it relies too heavily on droplets and lightning storm. Ah, yes. Yeah, true. Which is why yeah. the budget came into it. Um, and then only I'd probably rebuild um the Max Mermel that I had, and like max out the extra deck and like have all of the old school extra deck as well for like past formats and yeah. stuff, so I could actually play those decks again. Mermel. Your Max Mermel was like, it was better, but it was kind of like Luke's. Max Infernoble, right? Where it was like, this oh, is by Max. The, by the time I had it, Max, the Ish. deck was irrelevant. Yeah. Oh. That's all for me. Oh. Um, Does anyone else? What would you build with a hundred bucks? A hundred bucks. You build Sky Striker. Is anything yeah. expensive? <laughs> Sky yeah, like some of the cards are like fifteen bucks. Which ones? Yeah. Afterburners. We don't like us. We don't. Like... Oh, we went is cheap. fifteen dollars. Yeah. Fucking what? <laughs> and probably the extra deck stuff's gone up. I know the ulties have, but I don't know about the regulars. Maybe oh. not. Um, Regulous. I would build... Hmm. Bow. Draco. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that was Shit, scum. Draco. Absolute you. scum. And then hope I'd draw good cards against you. <laughs> ben. It didn't matter. That first game, he had both I, I, Lightning Storm I, and Forbidden Droplets. Well. It yes. didn't matter what I had. You're dead. Well, I'm not going to answer, just in case we do more episodes. Yeah, we should do a reverse uh, thing. Um, and with Unlimited, either Max Strikers or Max um, Spellbooks. Oh, Ooh, Spellbooks. Or both. Yeah. yeah. yeah you have Unlimited. Budget. No, you only get six cards. <laughs> Alright, I'll do... 3030. Ooh. Josh. <laughs> on a budget, I'll build salad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salad, and without it, I'll build salad. salad without its win condition. <laughs> yeah, it was Zeroboros. And then, with a, a, a really good budget. What? You. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your night, lad. <laughs> it's I'm not. All we, we do, we put Axis Code Talker back in the deck and we keep low rarity salad because that's the best rarity. Aren't the structures like $40 each or something? Yeah, yeah but the singles <laughs> are. It's on singles price. Uh, Yes, for a little you can build it for like 70 bucks. <laughs> to be, wait, he's playing salad, but like no hand traps. Yeah, I I'll lot. take that. Yeah. How many more you got? hand traps. The lowest rarity of each hand trap is very fucking no, cheap. No, no lowest actually, rarity ash is $20. To 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 like 10, On TCG card, the lowest rarity ash is $20. We literally just did the video. He was just he doing a video based on this very subject. He could not afford it. No, we just did the fucking video. And I just made the There's joke. a bit where I'm like, can I afford a beer? No. How about Imperm? No. Like, it's... At which point you get lightning storms and lose. <laughs> Give me a second. What's the last comment? Uh, the last comment is, why does Bragg sound so cute? Uwu. Left by Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> no horny. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Brag is getting hit with the no hammer, and then Josh is getting hit with the no hammer. Josh will put it down. Michael Lilly hit himself Mike, with the no hammer. Almost hit, hit Jake. With that hammer, people would... <laughs> almost hit Jake with <laughs> my <laughs> fist. <laughs> he doesn't want the horn to be turned off. And now, with that side gag. We have one more thing. Oh, I was trying one to more. Just, I was trying to set him up for the rap. Oh. No. Shut so. up. Bora! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a question from oh. Cora. Uh, so Bragg has drawn Cora to find a, a question for us to replace your Yu-Gi-Oh. The <laughs> legend of Cora. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, why isn't Yu-Gi-Oh a sport? Here's the oh. thing. I also oh. went through Cora after you, <laughs> Yahoo Answers went down looking for... Uh, successor to Yahoo Gi Oh! Questions are very good on there. Um, the a... best reason Yu Gi Oh! isn't a sport they don't because pay you. 3D pro- projection technology has not reached the point where you can simulate what the anime was like. Yes. It's because no one wants to watch. Oh, activate schism, some window. Oh, <laughs> 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 that's and that fucking episode boring. 15 of the fucking no podcast. To watch the we were here with Frag. Also known as the. Huh? Uh, window Pop. Uh, go to bed. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it for brag. tonight's pod. Um, if you have any questions you'd like to ask us, feel free to jump into our Discord. The link is below. Uh, otherwise, please like and subscribe. Uh, share the video if you have any other questions. Please go feel watch the to... recent videos too. It's yeah. so it's good. So go and watch it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of oh, yeah, we mentioned it a couple a of times tonight. Please jump on and take a look at the $100 versus a uh, million dollar uh, video on our channel. Um, <laughs> our channel specifically. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't need help on the other one. No, he's got enough. It's got that banging thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail is so good. I was sitting there like, well, how can I make this thumbnail excellent? And I know. <laughs> Microsoft Word clip art. Yes. <laughs> no, actually, it was search rich person PNG. <laughs> search poor person PNG. I'm just saying, I'm just that, oh. poor, that poor one is like, Poor. Yeah. It is <laughs> poor. It is so bad. Anyway, shit. Uh, that concludes tonight's podcast. Uh, we'll catch you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.